His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa today performed Eid al Adha prayers at Al Sakir Palace. الله أكبر 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 Also performing the prayers were His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Hamam and Hamad Al Khalifa, His Majesty the King's sons, senior royal family members, Speaker of the Council of Representatives and senior officers. In his sermon, the Imam stressed the noble significance of Eid al-Adha and prayed to Allah the Almighty to protect His Majesty King Hamad, guide him on the right path of success and bless him with abundant good health and happiness. He also wished the Kingdom further progress and prosperity under His Majesty the King's leadership. إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل وسلم وزد وبارك وأنعم على هذا النبي الكريم وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين اللهم آمنا في أوطاننا اللهم آمنا في أوطاننا اللهم آمنا في أوطاننا واحفظ يا مولانا مليكنا اللهم اجعل له من عمره من طال عمره وحسن عمله اللهم واحسن عمله في كل خير يا رب العالمين اللهم اجعل له من أمره رشدا وكله معينا ونصيرا وظهيرا والبسه ثوب الصحة والعافية يا رب العالمين اللهم وفق جميع ولاتنا بتوفيقك وعنهم على أمور دينهم ودنياهم يا رب العالمين واغفر اللهم لنا ولوالدينا ووالد والدينا ولمن له حق علينا ولمن أوصانا بالدعاء له وللمؤمنين والمؤمنات الأحياء منهم والأموات إنك مولانا سميع قريب مجيب الدعوة رب العالمين عباد الله إن الله يمر بالعدل والإحسان وإيتاء ذي القربى وإنه عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغي يعظكم لعلكم تذكرون فاذكروا الله العزيز الجليل يذكركم واشكروه على عموم نعمه يزدكم ولذكر الله أكبر والله يعلم ما تصنعون وتقبل الله منا ومنكم صالح الأعمال وكل عام وأنتم بخير His Majesty King Hamad exchanged greetings and good wishes with worshippers and thanked them for their congratulations and sincere supplications wishing the kingdom and its people many happy returns of the occasion The worshippers extended deepest congratulations and good wishes to His Majesty the King praying Allah the Almighty to bless him with abundant good health and happiness, protect him and guide him on the path of success, voicing pride in his sound approach of consolidating the kingdom's status and effective regional Arab and international role. They lauded the landmark achievements and gains attained by the kingdom and the progress boom it is witnessing in various fields during His Majesty the King's prosperous era.
His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Khalifa held a telephone call with the Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan. The two leaders exchanged Eid al-Adha greetings, wishing many happy returns on the occasion for the two brotherly countries and their peoples, as well as for all other Arab and Islamic nations. Telephone calls were held between His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa al Khalifa and Prince Makin bin Abdulaziz al Saud, Prince Mohammed bin Fahad bin Abdulaziz al Saud, the Governor of the Eastern Province of Saudi Arabia, Prince Saud bin Nayef bin Abdulaziz al Saud, and representative of the Western Region in the United Arab Emirates, Sheikh Hamdan bin Zayed al Nahyan, in which they exchanged greetings on the advent of Eid al Adha, wishing many happy returns on the occasion for all the countries and their peoples, as well as for other Arab and Islamic nations. A telephone call was held between His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and Saudi Crown Prince, Deputy Premier and Defence Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, during which they exchanged good wishes on the advent of Eid al-Adha, wishing many happy returns for the two countries and their peoples, as well as for other Arab and Islamic nations. Excitement fills the air as Muslims around the kingdom celebrate the first day of the Islamic holiday Eid al-Adha. More in this report with Yasmin Ibrahim. Eid al-Adha celebrations has begun with huge crowds flocking to malls, restaurants and tourist spots for Eid getaway. The three-day holiday, also known as the Feast of Sacrifice, is characterized by prayers, followed by feasts and visits to family and friends. Today I, come, I came to the shopping mall because you know, Eid is that part, day of the year where you just sit and talk with your family. No, no school, no university, no jobs. You just sit and relax and you enjoy the Eid atmosphere. Everyone is just laughing. A wave of tourists from around the world, most from the GCC countries, made their way to the kingdom to celebrate the festive occasion. Bahrain has geared up its Eid al-Adha programs and activities, offering visitors a set of indoor and outdoor entertainment and new attractions, which continue to attract millions of residents and tourists. The Eid is a good time to meet your family and uh, you, you can enjoy your time to go to cinema or uh, shopping or um, meet a friend. We gather at our grandma's house, we eat together, and then we call our friends and go out like for cinemas, and for parties and then the next day we meet up in uh, our friend's house and just stay together and enjoy the Eid. This Eid I'll be going out with my friends and uh, my family. I'll be visiting my uh, grandma uh, and I will go to my family house. During the three-day holiday, a huge variety of celebrations and festivities are expected to take place at various venues around the kingdom, lighting up the island with excitement and celebrations. Eid, a time for family, friends and entertainment. Excitement and celebrations fill the air as people celebrate one of the most joyous occasions. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Yasmin Ibrahim.